Hey y'all, you got Doug Gore, Dougie Doo with Cajun Soft Wash. Booster pump replacement, uh, Dayton booster pump. My booster pumps are about two years old and they're going bad. So I replaced one about two or three months ago. Um, now I'm replacing another one. And again, these pumps are about two years old. So I just thought I would share with you um, the inside of this, uh, of the Dayton pump after about two years. I have never taken these things apart. I know the Goulds pump, everybody's been talking about repairing them, um, replacing the inside. So uh, I'm just gonna replace the pump. I'm not gonna fix it, uh, but let's explore the inside. I've already broke it free. Um, I haven't taken it apart, so I have no idea what it looks like inside, but uh, let's explore it together. All right, here we go. All right, so um, first there's this little nut that came out and it's got a little o-ring on it there and uh, I've broke it free but I haven't taken out it apart yet oh nasty stuff here tonight all right so again this is after two years it's pretty corroded on the inside there I know Tim just twists these things off, but yeah, I'm not going to have that kind of luck. This is the uh, very first piece. I don't know what this is called, but this is the very first piece coming out in. Uh, I mean, it's two years old thereabouts, and doesn't look like it's all that bad. Tim, no making fun of me, because I know that uh, you know what you're doing here, taking these things apart. I don't. Seems to me like you slid that whole thing out, so we're going to try that. Hey, there we go. Alrighty, let's explore. Alright, so this is the first one coming out. Actually, all that looks pretty good to me. Might have to go grab some more rags. These are all these parts here are plastic. So I know Tim slides out as a whole big thing, and this probably does too. It's probably just. Uh, messed up somewhere on the inside. I am finding the little washers there. Honestly on these I don't really see what goes bad here. I mean yet. These impellers I, I, are completely different than the ones I've seen with Tim's uh, with the Gould's pumps. Because um, his you can all see it out in the open. So hopefully we're going to get to whatever the problem was. I'm just going to keep stacking these things together until we figure it out. Getting them all out of there. Maybe this might change my mind and I might rebuild one. Though so far I really don't see any problems with it. I mean, if you look at it, and I don't know what you can see, what you can't see, but I mean, all of this looks good. And again, this is after about two years. Okay, pull it apart. I mean, these pieces here, they have some surface rust on them.
I'm trying to figure out what in the world is going to be wrong with this thing because so far everything looks good. I could definitely hear it making noise and uh, it was definitely not spraying. I mean, it was, I had stuff coming out, but it wasn't much. Again, interestingly enough, I'm not really seeing anything wrong with any of this. I'm assuming we're going to get to some other piece. And I'm not taking every single piece apart here. All right, now this is the very last one. And I don't know if you can see that it's bulging. I don't know if you can kind of see that. So let me go down to the next one. Okay, so this is the one that's that's all the way at the very uh, end near the motor, and it definitely has a, a, a bulge to it. Other than that, I don't I haven't found anything wrong yet. And this last one, there's uh, several washers instead of just one. So I'll try to keep all that in mind. Like I said, I don't really intend to put this thing back together, but bear with me, guys. Just trying to keep everything the way it's supposed to be because I do have a recipient for this. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna give this uh, pump to uh, Roderick Guy. He had asked for the next pump, and uh, I said I'd give it to him. So that's what I'm gonna do. So now I'm gonna try to look down inside there. Um, I know the Gould's pump. Tim had kind of pulled this whole thing out. Maybe he just had it as one unit. I thought that this uh, center rod came out with it, but I've actually got a free turn to the center rod here. Um, so let me take a look down inside and see if I can see anything. Well, there's definitely some heavy corrosion down inside there. I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see it. Let's see if we can. It's going to look the same as this, really, though. Okay. If you look, that's pretty heavily corroded. And it kind of looks the same on the inside of this one, uh, of, the, of the tube. And it actually is like I see some debris in there. Now I know that this tube will come off. I'm just not exactly positive how it comes off. I mean, it's going to be the same twisting effect. And I don't want to damage it trying to get it off because I do want to give it to Roderick. Uh, but it's like I see something down inside there. Aha. Uh -huh. So, I think I got it figured out. Down inside there, there is like a piece of debris. A piece of debris got sucked inside this pump. unless it's something that's actually coming apart inside there, but it looks like a piece of debris um, got inside that pump. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. If I zoom in, you'll probably be able to see that uh, there's a little piece of debris down there, kind of on, off on the side right there. And it looks like it's caught up in a, uh, the spring mechanism that's there. And that's probably what was affecting the pump. Um, because this pump, uh, it, I mean, it was still working. It was just making a lot of noise. 
and uh, it was also uh, it, it wasn't spraying very far I was getting maybe uh, 15 foot out of it and that was about it and it was not a very good stream so uh, anyhow um, that's what it looked inside like inside the Dayton this here is a 5NXZ3A and these have actually been discontinued and the uh, pump that is going to replace it is uh, this one here the GTAC21SAH and uh, I'll do another video on uh, wiring this pump up and uh, getting, her in, getting her in place you know one last thing out of curiosity I'm gonna plug this pump in up oh, I forgot I can't oh well I was gonna plug it in and just see what kind of noise it made anyhow uh, that's it for this uh, booster pump take a look and uh, man I'm still I'm really surprised I, I saw you know where um, Tim Azelton had taken one apart and the uh, the impellers were, were shot and uh, man after two years look at that I think that's an awesome looking impeller myself so anyhow that's it uh, that's the booster pump the Dayton booster pump three quarter inch uh, here at Cajun Softwash I appreciate y'all for listening to me Dougie do out